Waka 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 waka. Waka waka. What is cracking? Found my exit. Back here with another video. Welcome, welcome. I hope you've been well, taking care of yourself and ripping into some packs of your own, hopefully having fun whilst doing so. Vintage Booster Pack Bounty Hunt, episode number nine. Wow, we're already up to nine, that's crazy. So we'll head over to the storage cupboard, grab out our four sets and meet you back here for the rules. Let's go, Vintage Booster Pack Bounty Hunt. We've got Fusion Strike, so we'll grab one of those. I've got some loose packs down here. We'll grab out, we broke down another one of those Builder Battle Stadiums for this. We'll grab out our Silver Tempest packs. Hopefully, Pick out a lucky bunch there, um, and then we'll get into here, we'll get our Lost Origin packs again, hoping for a lucky bunch from that grab. So we got the three OGs, and this week we will be adding in Vivid Voltage, that big electric chonky boy. All right, take these back to the desk, and we'll get into it. We have our four sets here. We've got the OG, Silver Tempest, Lost Origin, Fusion, and Vivid Voltage for its first appearance. Maybe a little bit of a cheat, you know, because of the chase card we are chasing within that set. So Silver Tempest, as you're aware, we are chasing that solo Lugia. Lost Origin, we've got the Double Chase. We've got the Giratina Alt Art V and the Aerodactyl V Alt Art. Now, Fusion Strike, I believe we are looking for all three, the Mew VMAX Alt Art, the Espeon VMAX Alt Art, and the Gengar VMAX Alt Art. So three chases from that set. And the new introduction, we are looking for that chonky boy right there, the um, Rainbow Hyper Rare Chonky Chew, which is not technically an Alt Art. So look, shh, we won't tell anyone. All right, let's rip these packs open. We'll go through the point system and then get into it. So we have our Leaning Tower of Packs. Now, any of those alt arts that we showed before, as you are aware if you've seen this before, we are on episode nine, will trigger a vintage booster pack being opened, number one, number two. So if we get two of those chases, we open both, um, and hopefully we can just get one and tick off that base set two, which is potential heavy. Really, really keen to see what is inside that. Now, our point system for today, we will run through. We are all Sword and Shield era today, so we will have that half a point for Hollows today um, being in there. And we do have our chase packs. We don't have a black and white chase pack here. I'm sorry, didn't have the time to factor in a new one today, but we do have our 10 point chase, 15 point chase being XY Breakpoint, and 20 point chase being XY Primal Clash that we can still get. So one point will be for Standard Vs, a Radiant, or an EX, no EX is because we're all Sword and Shield. Two points will be for Yellow Border Trainer Gallery, any illustration rare, full art, trainer, supporter, VMAX or V-Star. Now, three points for any Black Border Trainer Gallery we will be doing today, and five points for a Gold, Rainbow, Secret Rare, or any other alt art, slash SIR, but no SIRs again today. So there are little chase packs off to the side. We've got our four sets. Um, I'll take them off in order. And we got one bonus pack of Fusion Strike, if you notice in there, because there was eight of them. So that big rainbow chonky boy is the chase from Vivid today and will trigger that bounty opening um, and plenty of other hits we can potentially get within there to tally up those points. We'll have the points going down in the bottom and we will chase some of these hectic other packs in the opening today. Um, I, I, ch I just chose Vivid Voltage um, because I was time poor as have been for quite some time now and needed to get into it. So I kind of just picked off in the last two vintage booster pack bounty hunts, the ones that we needed to, or not needed to, the other ones that were in options of the polls that we had as we do have a VMAX hit there to start us off out the gate with your beetle. Um, not bad, not bad. Two points, we take it. We take two points every day of the week. That's not... No, I was going to say. All right, next pack of Vivid Voltage. Just so long as the points, uh, you know, tallying up, we're happy, right? That's, that's, that's all that matters. Keep those points coming. Keep them tallying up. And as mentioned, we've got Hollows not being guaranteed in Sword and Shield, so we will factor them in as half a point each. Not that we had one there, but we will factor them in. 
All right, how's everyone's week going? I hope that you're trucking along, getting through the week, kicking some goals of your own, um, and hopefully pulled some, you know, some fire, some fire out there. Thank you to all of, you know, the people who support the channel, who constantly smash that like button for us, as we do have a goal there with the Heroes Medal. That is for every single one of you MVPs out there, that is your medal. That is the Heroes Medal for you at perfect timing. But that's pretty good. The Heroes <laughs> Medal for all of you out there. Look at it. No, just kidding. But seriously, really, really do appreciate all the love and support. Everyone who smashes that like button gets involved in the comments section. Um, all of our amazing, amazing, incredible members. Um, I don't think I would have had time with traveling to show or announce the next giveaway prizes, but there are definitely going to be members' prizes and you know giveaways at the end of this vintage set of the month's reign, which will be end of June, and we will make it a nice one for everyone out there, I promise. So seven points so far, if I'm correct, gold being five, two for the VMAX. Vivid, already with seven points. We are well and truly on our way to ticking, ticking off some of those chase packs with three packs left here of Vivid. Let's not slow down. Let's keep this momentum, Vivid Voltage. Come on. All of these packs opening very, very nice and clean. There's a code card. I haven't opened Vivid Voltage in some time. I do have a fair bit of it sealed away, so maybe maybe we chase that chonky boy. I haven't, um, I have pulled it, but it was like years ago now. Um, very early on in the set being released, I pulled it. So probably the reason why I didn't open a ton of it. I know there's not the biggest desire for Vivid Voltage out there. I don't hate it. I know a lot of people don't love it as a set, but I, I don't mind it. I don't mind Vivid Voltage, me personally. So we will kick on and continue in this opening to see if we can. We do have another VMAX. Nice. Two VMAXs. You know, no hollow so far, but we'll take that. That's nine points on the board. Nine big points on the board. Last pack. Vivid Voltage. That chonky boy on the front. Let's see if we can Make the Chonky Boy show face. A rainbow Electric Chonker. And it is not. It is no Reg Hollows, but nine points. We are very happy with that. All right. Silver Tempest needs no introduction. We are looking for that Lugia. We've got plenty of Silver Tempest. There will be a Silver Tempest Lugia chase probably coming up in the not-too-distant future. I don't know when I'll do it, but... I brought out a bunch of my Silver Tempest from storage, my sleeved cases for for the reason that I want to kind of go hard on getting that Lugia, you know? It's been too long. Too many packs of Silver Tempest have been opened with no result as we do have a no-hitter to kick us off into Silver Tempest. But we are, we started strong. Let's not jinx it. Let's not talk about it. Let's not, you know, get any expectation about it continuing along those lines, but we are one point off triggering that Celebrations pack. Six points off of the XY Breakpoint pack and a big 11 points off of the Primal Clash, but very achievable if we can just have one of these other sets deliver the same level of energy that Vivid Voltage brought to the table for us. Oh, I wonder, I wonder what, having a few storage issues, so hopefully they are resolved, but we will push on as I didn't pick up the rare in that spot, but it was just a non-hollow. All right, Silver Tempest, you have done sweet FA for us so far. We need you to deliver with something, something right about now. Let's get into this next pack. Did we jinx it by uh, those sleeved warm-up packs that we had in the video uh, a little bit ago? We may have. We may have pulled all of the the good sleeved packs for that warm-up. I, I think we pulled like seven hits out of eight booster packs. So sorry for those um, that were frustrated about that one. Luck of the draw. I can't choose it. I can't help what packs I grab out that are sleeved that are absolute garbage versus the ones that are good um but look we will push on and we will hope for the best 
Even a trainer gallery hit. Zero points. You're undoing all the good work that we got from from our um, Vivid Voltage packs with that Heroes medal. Who's going to be the hero today? All right. I feel like I saw something in the side of this pack, but it could have been a V-Star card. Well, it might have been nothing. It might have been an indent. Who knows? Let's not get ahead of ourselves, but we will be quietly, quietly hopeful that it is a half a point. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, Silver Tempest. All right, last pack, Silver Tempest. Let's get serious here. Come on. Got to deliver on something. I'm sorry if I um, my talk tracks have been disrupted by the storage issues. I don't know if I fixed it properly. Um, definitely. Oh, we got a bit of an ink error on that code card. But there does look like there is something in the back there. Was it that? <laughs> was, was it that? I don't know. I feel like it was still something in the back, but... We won't get ahead of ourselves yet. We will push through and hope for some points to be added to the total from this not so great showing. Okay, we've got a trainer gallery into a V. Three points, a three and a half points. You know, that last pack kind of saved it there for Silver Tempest. That's um, that's not too bad. Okay, so that's a two pointer, it's a one pointer. We'll pop them in there. Reflective areas, let's do that. Let's stack up the two pointers and the, well, sorry. Two pointers, one pointer, half a point, okay. So we should be, um, we are ticking that one off the list. We're getting into celebrations and we still got two sets to go. Plenty of packs. Lost Origin, we are looking for that Aerodactyl V alt art or that Giratina V alt art. Two beautiful, beautiful alt arts. I love both of them. Would love to see either of them so that we can bust into that beautiful base set two pack that has been teasing us, taunting us week after week. Um... Fortnite after Fortnite, I should say, because it's not weekly, the Vintage Booster Pack Bounty Hunt. It is every second week. So it has been haunting us every second week, thinking, am I heavy, firstly? And secondly, what is that potential hollow inside? Is it a Charizard from Base Set 2? Is it one of the other OG great hits that you can get from Base Set 2? We, um, we won't know. We won't know until we get lucky. And I don't want to break the rules to get it. Like, I don't know how I could break the rules to make it that we hit an alt art. Um, I guess apart from resealing a pack, which I'm not in the market for doing. Another half a point there. I think that gets us to 14 clean. Am I right? 1, 2, plus 6, 8, plus that. 13 clean. All right. The Giratina artwork for the Giratina. Let's see it. Oh, did I didn't specify the Giratina alt art for the Giratina alt art. Oh, it might do it to me again. Remember last time I said there's a Giratina inside, I didn't specify, and we got the Giratina VMAX. Not the VMAX, the V-Star. Oh, have I done it again? No, but it's a boss's orders. Okay. The old flaming redhead. Nothing wrong with it. He looks like a redhead version of Wolverine. The boss's orders there, tallying up another two points for us. Um, so getting us to that 15, does that mean we are an XY breakpoint category? We have ticked off two of the chase packs. Now all we need to do is see one of those big alt arts to get us into one of those vintage packs. And we will be sitting pretty. All right, we are midway through the Lost Origin packs. They no hitter there. Stonehenge in the back. This feels like a very full booster pack. I feel like this is an error booster pack. It feels way too big. There is definitely some form of like additional card in here or something, I think. There's the code card. Let's find out. Um, we'll go through it normally. No, nope, it was a normal pack. I um, was silent there because I was counting. I know it's rare. It's rare for me to be silent, but I was silent there whilst I was counting the cards. Um, can't speak and count at the same time. That is not a gift that I have. Maybe it was just these booster packs are nice and tidy and clean, uh, and that's why. All right, we do... Have nothing in the back of this lost. So lost only on two and a half points. So, okay, one more pack. Can it do a last pack magic like Silver Tempest did to keep us 
tallying away, but that's all right. All that good work that was done from Vivid Voltage early has definitely helped us keep on track to at least have all of our point chase packs um, opened in this one. But still, any points that we can get here would be nice to give us a bit of buffer room heading into Fusion Strike. All right, getting down to the business end, and we have another no-hitter pack there. So quick little recap, we've got 10, 15 points and Fusion Strike. Let's look at the chase cards. We are looking for that Mu VMAX Alt Art, that Espeon VMAX Alt Art, or the Gengar VMAX Alt Art. We've already ticked off these two chase packs with our points. This one will be triggered in five more points. So all we need is Fusion to do five points. We've got a bonus pack of Fusion in here with eight total. Oh, it's all there to be done. It's all there to be done. And then we get three chase packs from our points. And if we get lucky and snag one of those VMAX Alt Arts, we could potentially be opening base set two. All right, we're starting, starting slow here from Fusion. Starting slow. That was our bonus packs. So technically, that didn't happen. That's all right. So now we have our seven packs from Fusion um, to see if we can continue the love. I can see something in the back there. It doesn't look like... I don't know. Let's not say anything. It looks like it could have had texture and been a VMAX-ish style card. Oh, the nerves are tingling. The nipples are getting a little bit, you know, going a bit of a tension. It looks like it is a VMAX and it is the Rillaboom VMAX. What a tease. What an absolute tease. The old Rillaboom. All right, well, that's okay. That's another two points there. So we'll add that to the VMAX pile. That gets us to 17 points and still six packs to go. We're tracking pretty good here. Just need another three out of these remaining six packs. We can do it. I feel it. I feel we can do it. Would much prefer to see... Um, what would I prefer? Us getting to that... Something in the back there. Us getting to that next point chase card, uh, chase pack, or us getting one of, definitely one of the uh, alt arts. I want to see one of the alt arts. I want to rip base set two. It's been nine episodes and that base set two pack's been teasing us. As we do have a V Max. No, it's not. It's a regular V, Inteleon V there for another point, but that's all right. That's 18 points if I'm tracking correctly. You'll see it down there. Don't trust what I'm saying. Trust what you see on the screen. Um, and we still have five remaining packs. Interesting, interesting, interesting. I will add some of the new tips and twists and all of that jazz to the, the vintage booster pack bounty hunt that we have talked about in the past. I will add those, but just not yet. I'm still um, having a difficult schedule, upload all that stuff at the moment. So uh, those changes will come into effect when I am back in my usual routine all right four more packs well this being the fourth last pack of fusion so still three more there to get two points two simple simple points or one of those big dog v maxes that we are looking for oh, i'd love to see it i don't know what prices have done since i filmed this from a fusion's perspective but if they continue tracking what they with what they were doing at the time of filming, um, yeah, who knows where they are now. I know that Gengar VMAX and that Espeon VMAX, probably the Mew as well, but um, have all been getting some really, really big increases to value, right? Um, so we'll have to get our act together once I am back to my red regular schedule and really, really try to submit that PSA submission that I want to do. Some some great suggestions have been made out there from the community um, with some cool ideas for when we do finally get to doing a PSA submission is we've got a half a point there. It gets us to, what, 18 and a half, um, yeah, which I've taken on board and will definitely put into effect when we do get the chance to actually have the time to put it in, right? Last pack of Fusion Strike. We need, I think, one and a half points to get that Primal Clash Booster pack. Otherwise, we will be simply just ripping um, Celebrations and Break Point. 
All right, some last pack magic here with the Vulpix in the reverse into the Golem non-holo rare. You know who that's a highlight for? All right. That's, that's not enough. I'll do a double check of the points, but I don't think it's enough to get the 20 pointer. So there's 10 just there with twos. There's another two, so 12, 13 and a half, 18 and a half points. We were just shy of triggering, <clears throat> excuse me, of triggering that last chase pack in Primal Clash. So we will open these two and we will also still say Classic Collection Charizard triggers the base set pack just because it is the same artwork as the Charizard that could potentially be inside of that booster pack. So celebrations, you've got a chance at doing it for us. Let's see. So it is the third slot, but you can get something in the back. So we do have something in the back. So we won't cheat and get straight through to it. It's not classic collection. And then what we do have in the back was the professor's research there. So a hit from celebrations. Always nice to see. Um, all right. Break. Break point. Let's get in here and see if we can find... The big hit from this set, the, sh the well, there's actually a big trainer and the um, secret rare Gyarados, but my preference would be getting that secret rare Gyarados if we could have just one hit out of the pack. Three to the front because we are in XY era. Some older cards here all the way back to 2016. Got the Staryu. Pancham and the Growlithe. That's a cool Growlithe just chilling, gurring away. And we have the Raticate non holo rare. Look, nothing too crazy from those packs there, the bonus packs. I mean, we've got the Professor's Research, but definitely some cool hits in amongst the opening, a bunch of VMAXs that could have been better, and that gold that kicked us off well from Vivid Voltage. Please go ahead and smash that like button for us and subscribe if you're not already, and we'll catch you in that next video. A waka 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 wa